Hey guys, it's your boy Brazen Wall. I'm back to my free press. YouTube. And Leo Curry. From my world. Someone off the off. Off. I start off, off the. This. The brand new secondary career mode. Got. Bit of a surprise when. Mm, goalkeeper Steam and Banda had in a random transfer request. Out of the freaking blue. As. See. Yeah, I brought in a team a horn to replace him. I paid this weirdly enough. If I got him for twenty six point one million, the exact same fee that Mendanda went to Chelsea for. So uh interesting how that worked out. I've made one other alteration to the team. Young mm, 19 you know, year old Sarbac Diop. Diop? Not sure how you say his name. But uh, I signed him during preseason from uh, Toulouse. Toulouse. And uh, yeah, he's coming in instead of this dude. Because this dude's rating is already starting to go down, which is saying off alarms in my head. And Diop is. Way up when we're at 19, and it's only two springs lower, so it won't take him that long to, to get to 77, especially because he'll be in the yeah, training. And I know how to say this guy's surname. No, it's, it's Coeto. And funnily enough, his name means left. His, his surname means left. No wonder he plays on the left. <laughs> so there you go. I now know how to say his name. Hmm. I'm still gonna be bad on a lot of names. Don't, 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 don't go ah. <laughs> if if you enjoy hearing me butcher names, don't worry. That will, that will probably never stop. There's always gonna be one name I butcher. Actually, there's gonna be hundreds of names I butcher in every single girl mode. I at least know how to pronounce his name now. This is Martin Tyler. Saying that you guys probably heard, heard the commentators had an attempt at it in the last episode. Pleasure to be here, Martin. Looking forward to it. We've had a lot of transfer whispers. This confirmation uh, of Horn's debut. Ooh, it was a new club. Very swank in the great goalkeeper jersey, if I will say so myself. Oh yeah, that's right. That's how he is. Plays for Nice. I would forget that if people didn't constantly remind Liverpool fans that he's doing well. And we all have to point out the fact that it's the French League. It's not exactly hard to score goals in the French League. Rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. for the new manager having been successful in his second game in charge his game number three and we need to take shape under him I think so I mean there was signs I'm seeing that in the first episode I only scored four goals which is probably considered an oak he uh, returned but not a brilliant return and he heads it for goal oh Great diving head up, but the keeper was equal to it. If that's okay, I will take the corner. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Mario Balotelli. Come on. 
Bodmer. Oh. It's going to be a yellow card. Yeah. It's going to be a yellow card for this player. It almost looks like he's ripping off part of his shirt because his shirt is yellow as well. <laughs> I think he rushed his shot there, and that's why it's so wide of the mark. The, my transfer business isn't quite done yet. I am looking to uh, bolster my central midfield options because I, I, I looked at the team and I said, you know what, I, I could use one, even two at most. Hopefully one will be enough. I've uh, looked at some options and I've made some bids, so uh, we'll see what comes of those. Here's the remainder of this episode, because chances are we'll be doing a lot of it in this perhaps on deadline day. Penalty! Hello? Really? Hello, us? Aw, oh, I can't get the show away. Me. Right into the middle. Good crossing the Perville. Looks like the, the uh, corner. Cross coming in now. Oops, in. Yo. Oh. Wide of the post. Yeah, unlucky. The keeper, you know, he wasn't going to get there. Chris defending there. Oh, He's great, though. The attack now. Oh, that's a... Come on, referee. Now that is a yellow pop for as well. Oh, yes. Thank you. It's only fair. I got a yellow card for my... Oh, well, they get a yellow card for their foul. It's only fair. Or because that foul was just as much a yellow card as my one was. I'm not saying mine wasn't. But that, they both were. They both were. So it would have been unfair if he didn't give me a yellow card for that. They cope with it well defensively. Not a cynical challenge for Hadira, right? Right? In fact, neither were. So both getting yellow cards is uh, more than acceptable. Well, it's a tough place to visit this, but the away team today come here in good heart, Alan. They've won their last two games. Yeah, they should be in good heart. And as you say, it won't be easy, but uh, they're in impressive form. And in he goes with the yes. tackle. Over down. Oh, uh, over that. Over D. I'm not sure I see it. Four. Three. Told you it wouldn't go away. Oh, great work by the perfect. Oh, it's quite though. Oh, for fuck's And he survived the first half at nil nil. That was another game on. Monaco and, and uh, PSG. The two money bags of the first. He is now keep going at it. Good challenge here. Rio Antonio. Uba. Obadi. And now the shot. It's quite a dog. There's the ball in. The ball in. Ah, oh, he couldn't get proper head on on it. Yeah, what kind of control was that? She? She? Yeah. Just let the ball to its mate and got it back again. The home team about to make a change. Oh, for God's sake. Good forward play from them. Oh, yeah, just run into the opposition player. Just, just do that, because... That's secretly why I wanted you to do, you dumb fuck. Along that. 
Well, just a chance to tell you about a confirmed transfer here. Mats Hummels has signed for Bayern Munich. Yeah, and I think both parties will be absolutely delighted. I think uh, he'll have a successful career at his new club. Back. Uh, £45 million. Pounds. I think that's money well spent. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Oh! Have the teammates who are clearly on the same oh. wavelength. Dante. These fuckers are really gonna start passing around the back. Yes! They fucked up! The are Oh! Great resistance from the goalkeeper. So really well struck shot. He probably gets to the I shouldn't have rushed that. That was my own mistake. You gotta get this to make for cancelling out theirs. It's quite dull. Vuba. Zakir. Lopez! Is. Oh, for God's sake! What happened? Really? Really? Oh, absolutely piss off. It's a good place to win the ball here. I would be livid if me scared a draw because of that. It's quite a thought. Mavuba, good chance, yes! Oh my gosh! Son of a... He's flowing out of them, they don't think they can beat this keeper between the sticks. He's got support here. Up at the... Yo. Squared up. Yeah. Shut. The Purple. Oh. On. Oh, straight Dante. Of course I hit. Cross it straight to Dante's his feet. Cross coming in now. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Gone out over the touchline, that will be a throw to the opposition. Well, it's going to be a substitution now. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Oh, good work, Lopez. Lopez cuts it back. No one wants to get there, but the I does. Get in. It took 83 minutes. How did it take 83 fucking minutes to score that goal? I fucking hate defensive teams. They're so annoying. But in the end, they're always caught out. But one way or another. Four minutes gone, six minutes left on my watch. Now they've got a chance. Look at that. Now they're panicking because they're one nothing now. And now they're actually going to fucking try some, some attack. Plenty of long balls into the box, trying to get on those knockdowns. Hey, I'm being blocked off! What the fuck? Get that out of here. Lash it down the pitch. Yeah, nothing they can do from their defense, is there? The Perville, if he gets there, oh yes, the opportunity! Passes it to Squared, oh it's 2 0. Well, oh, thank you very much! <laughs> I mean, how did they not see that obvious his pass? Of course I'm going to pass in that situation. The keeper is expecting this oh, from the Perville. Also, I passed it, so yeah, you're fucked now. What do you do? Exactly. Nothing. First goal for, for his new club from Jose Escueto. Restarting at 2-0. Well, we're down to the last minute here. Finished here, 2-0. Well, they played very well when they...
two really late goal holes. I'll take it. I will take it. Because they were defensive for the, pretty much the whole game. They deserved that, to be honest. Nice nil, Lille two. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Stade René with nine points. In second, Saint-Étienne with nine points. In third, Lille with nine points. In fourth, Olympic Lyonnais with seven points. In fifth, Toulouse with six points. In sixth, Monaco with five points. In seventh, Paris Saint-Germain with five points. In eighth, Lorient with four points. Bottom of the table. Okay, there we go. Three. Mm. Accepted, rejected, rejected. Third bottom. Okay, it looks like I'm getting Ozan Tufan. What a name, friend. What a name. You can have important first team player. No, not crucial first team, important. So he, because I'll, I'll be mixing and matching. If I'm right, this guy is he's 76 rated. If I'm thinking of the right player, or no, I remember. We're packing his card in Ultimate Team. That's how I know who this guy is. Can't accept the terms because this player is too valuable to them. He's worth more than that, is he? Okay. Well, I don't know his value, so I'm just uh transfer fee four point five. Is that what I offered? Oh yeah, that is what I offered. Okay, so he's worth more than four point five million? Well, Mari after agreeing to a Fenerbahce five million, so I'll keep I'll keep Ben Essi. He's Marco Benessi's one there. No, not that one. I'll leave this one. Keep that there, just in case. Just in case. Like I said, one would be good. Two would be preferable. Ah, of course he does. He didn't say anything about having a problem with the uh, contract. He just doesn't. He he doesn't want to leave. What can I offer him? I can offer him up to seven. Can I offer him up to seventy-eight. This is this is the best he can get. And it's offering him all the wages because why the hell not? Because chances are he's gonna be the only sign here on Dead One Day. If he rejects that, I'll make the uh, I'll make another offer to you know for Burnett. Let's see. Hopefully, there won't be any issues. Hey, there we go. Get rid of those. Why his pocket? It's what all that sweet money. He and he is happy. He is can be. Now let's see his rating. Um, go into the main squad because he's going to be on the bench. Oh, he's 75 rated. Oh, that's okay. He is well. He's a central defensive midfielder. So, oh, that's a rotational for any. He can easily rotate for Owen if he gets tired or in. 
think hair, or even my boomba, because at 21 years old, you'd expect that his rating will go up throughout the season. You can see why my uh, instinct was to get some central midfielders. Don't have a lot of them. I mean, I could. Hmm. I'm just wondering, would it be? You can see, I I have a second team as well because the game put me in the Europa League. I didn't even know we were in it, but uh, apparently they are. So yeah. Um. But yeah, that rotation gets, you know, will, uh, help for those Europa team matches, which should be starting next month. Yep, there they are. You can see whose group I'm in them. It's a Hampton's group. With, uh, Krasnodar are from Russia. And Aberdeen from Scotland. So, two UK teams. Interesting. Few big games coming up. Oh, I, I thought. Yeah, that makes more sense. For a second there, I thought it had two league games against Monaco before for the halfway point. I was like, wait, what? Here, pay attention. And yes, I am trying to waste the time because chances or it would be just. It's just not going to happen that I'm going to have time to play a second game in this episode. As unfortunate as that is. Well, I am definitely not going to be signing him for 12 million, so... You can see I was actually scouting them. Uh, he, they can have him. And uh, I don't need these central defenders anymore. There's no way I haven't removed them from their uh, from the transfer list. You know, they're gone now. They are gone now. Am I seeing that correctly? What? What are Barcelona smoking? Very odd decision. Very odd decision. Arsenal signed the dude for one million. Seriously? T oh, uh, looks like a typical Arsene Wenger. Or saying where he spends very little on some dude, but he's probably building him as the next whoever because you know, oh, he's young, he, he could be so good. And it's who is uh, Mike? Magian. He's my backup goalkeeper, so yeah, I'm not going to sell him, especially on deadline day, and to a rival as well. Oh, hang on a second, I have the perfect fee for him. There you go. Just, just the, just, just a little bit more than what you were offering. Hmm? Hmm? You know, because I'm telling you to fuck off. Bye. Interesting to see. Look at that. Oh, that is, that says it all, ladies and gentlemen. That says it all. I've spent thirty million more than I've brought in.
Wow. Hey, Jurgen Klopp. Up doing the business over at Liverpool. Verratti. I wouldn't. I would not be against that as an option. Okay, are the latest deals bugged? Oh, for God's sake. Of course, that Alba goes to freaking. Mm, mm, you vent this. Why? Why is it always Juventus? Yes. In a way, I guess it was a good thing I signed him in my Liverpool career mode because chances are, if I hadn't, he would have gone to Juventus. Ah, they spent 70 million on him? I got him for 55! Ah! Freaking Juventus got ripped off. You could have gotten him for way cheaper. <laughs> Ah, oh, Byron pulled the wall over him. Mm, brilliant. Stay at three, stay at three. If you're wondering why I'm saying thank goodness, let me. I didn't get an email say. Mm, that there was an injury, so well, that is why I'm relieved. Oh, this guy could be very good. Mm. Bad. Ooh, There's a few good players here. Of course, there's a goalkeeper. And I... Wait, what was that? Great job with our youth program. Um... Thank you. But I didn't sign him up. Okay, that was weird. Sign these guys up just so I can keep an eye on their development. Yeah, that puts a few decent young players into my uh, youth academy. This guy is actually a um, player that you get from one of the players you can get from Scout Future Star. So that's who that guy is. That's why he's not German. All these are guys came from Scouting in Germany for defensive minded players. Not sure how he came back with a center mid, but he came back with a pretty good center mid, so I will let him off. Came back with two CDMs, a left back and a keeper as well. Oh, this guy must have counted as the second defender. Because I've already signed one decent player. Actually, he's really good. If I can get his rating up just a little bit, he could easily be promoted in no time. That's fantastic. Q 
he would uh, be the backup to all of us. Or a optional backup to all of us. So let's get those guys in the train session. So let's get you. Um, that is, that has gotten us past the, uh, 30 minute mark, so, well, I feel, so has, uh, gotten either, well, no, no, requirements. This is like, if you, well, I think the episodes are better when they're half an hour. Um, can't make any promises, dude. So yeah, next, I'll do see the game against Monaco and the game against the first Europa League game, which will be against Southampton. Until then, thanks for watching. I hope you Smash the like button if you did subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.